why Belle Delphine's career died. No one f***s with Belle Delphine anymore, chat? Nobody knows about her. Whoa, nobody knows about her? Dude, this is like a time before time. Here, I'm going to play the video. I'm not going to be on the internet forever. Um, and I think there will come a time, I think, where I will just <laughs> probably um, do everything. And then I think I'll leave. Belle Delphine had the entire internet wrapped around her finger. Viewer sims, other YouTubers, it didn't even matter if you liked her or not, everyone was always curious as to what she might do next. However, between the months of December 2020 and March I feel like she's the reason why every e-girl looks like an e-girl, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's the look that they try to achieve. Curiosity seemed to dry up completely. People stopped Googling her name. Her army of Twitter followers departed in droves. Her Patreon supporters dropped by 90%. She's rarely talked about on YouTube unless it's someone investigating one on earth ended up happening to her and as at the time of posting this video she hasn't been active on OnlyFans in almost a month which is pretty insane considering she used to post up to 40 photos per day for my Damn. OnlyFans I'm posting about 40 pictures a day oh and wow like holy videos crap videos as well I, I try and be as active as I possibly oh. Belle Delphine's career kind of died. And interestingly, there's so many different reasons for it. However, we have to start simple in order to understand the whole picture. So we'll begin with this. Belle Delphine removed two core components from her content that have been keeping her persona interesting, mystery and intrigue. Belle Delphine discussed on the H3 podcast that one of her main strategies for standing out as unique was that she'd mix her cutesy image with the strangest, most unrelated topics to build curiosity around her character. I've got the taking cute pictures and stuff, but that's not gonna really do it. So I decided to do weird things in the combination as well as being sexy. And I'll be like cracking an egg in my mouth or something. <laughs> and then people will share that, be like, this girl's so mm -hmm. weird and quirky or but whatever. This would show in videos such as Meet My Best Friend, in which Belle Delphine would dress somewhat provocatively and play with an octopus throughout the entire video. While certainly being a little bit Why? on the weird side, this video worked exactly as intended because as you might expect, many other influencers went to the effort of talking about the weirdness on their own channels. Meet my best friends. Some of you have referred to this video as disturbing. I, I hate this guy, bro. I'm so sorry. I don't hate this guy, like, personally. I just hate how he wears his headphones. I don't know if his ear is, like, lopsided or he just keeps it off his head. Like, he has one ear on, one ear off. I don't know. I I'm sorry, he a lovely guy. Back to this video as disturbing. In addition to this, Belle Delphine would become known for her infamous Ahigao face. I think the first thing that went big oh, was brother. the Ahigao face. Which also perfected the mix of mystery, intrigue, and attractiveness while helping her to stand out as unique after many attributed this face specifically to Belle Delphine. All of this seems like common knowledge now that she's come into podcasts and explained her story, but in the beginning, Belle was completely silent. She withheld as much information as possible, so when you were unavoidably introduced to her content with nothing more than this photo on your Twitter timeline, intrigue was almost guaranteed. But to keep this intrigue and conversation fresh, Belle Delphine began to escalate her publicity stunts, making them weirder and weirder in order to maintain the public's interest. It's time to get your game of girl bathwater. Belle Delphine's next stunt was so infamous and hilariously successful that talking about it is almost a waste of time and then it came to me and i was like ah bath water like bottled bath water Ew. in july 2019 bell announced that she'll be selling her i drink it bath water for 30 dollars per jar which hilariously sold out in less than two days youtubers from every corner of the website joined in on the madness each of which selling a little bit of their soul for a slight uptick in views after they inevitably drank the bath water on camera on the print media side of things the stupidity of the campaign prompted news article after news article some of which even going so far as to claim that the bath water gave an std to over 50 people oh. there was that fake article about the herpes or whatever that spread However, these articles were still a massive positive for the growth of her overall image even though they're bad are still kind of good it's good press it's always good press yeah, yeah by the end of the bathwater campaign Belle Delphine had well and truly catapulted herself into the mainstream however in the process there were obviously going to be setbacks by this point in time Belle Delphine had built what many referred to as an army of simps who had seemingly fallen in love with Belle Delphine and her anime image. To cater to and maintain the interest of this army of simps, she would post a photo to her Instagram stating that if she got 1 million likes on the picture, she would create a P-Hub account and begin posting videos to it. The photo smashed the record after totaling well over 2 million likes, and as a result, Belle Delphine would fulfill her promise by creating the account. However, unexpectedly, the content that she would eventually post to the lewd website ended up being nothing more than a publicity stunt. Her videos would feature extremely dirty usernames such as PewDiePie goes all the way inside Belle Delphine. However, a Upon clicking on the video, you would see nothing more than okay. Belle Delphine simply eating a photo 
photo of PewDiePie while remaining fully clothed. Many of our viewers found these videos to be hilarious, even praising her for how intelligent the ideas had been. However, those who expected actual adult content were <laughs> Grandpa Richard's disappointment. <laughs> Come on, Belle Delphi, you let, you let Grandpa Richard down, bro. Feeling as though they had been misled by Belle Delphine, many of her followers hatched a plan to mass report Belle Delphine's Instagram account with the goal of getting her account taken down, which they would ultimately succeed in achieving. Suddenly there's huge waves of people trying to like report my stuff and then uh, like all spam. I just notice it. it comes in waves. So I guess uh, that time the wave won. After her Instagram account had been banned and it was becoming clear that she wasn't going to get it back, there yeah. was a clear decline in her motivation and social media posting frequency. She suddenly stopped uploading to Patreon on, she took down her merch site, all while her YouTube became completely inactive. This short break would last for approximately three months, at which point many were questioning whether or not she would even return. However, there was still so much mystery surrounding her persona. She had to return, right? Well, yes, yeah, she would. But what came as a surprise to many was the method by which she would return, simultaneously shocking the internet and creating more hype around her name than ever before. On the 8th of October 2019, Belle Delphine would make a post to her Twitter page stating, I got arrested lol alongside a metropolitan police mugshot following this there would be a tweet clarifying the mugshot which stated i swear to god this girl came to my party and stole my hamster i have no idea why or who tf does that i spray painted the f out of her car and got arrested at least i got my hamster back accompanied by four photos of the apparent stunt unsurprisingly twitter is this real and YouTube completely gobbled the story up, with the main point of discussion being whether or not the whole thing was fake. However, they didn't get the answer immediately, as after making this Twitter post about being arrested, Belle Delphine would completely disappear for a period of eight whole months. The advantage that Belle Delphine had throughout this break was that there were still so many unanswered questions. She hadn't clarified if the arrest was real or fake, she'd barely shared anything about her personal life, plus she was yet to post any actual nudity or adult content for her army of sins. We want I wanna see titties! The fact that she withheld these elements created anticipation <laughs> for her return. People wanted to know where she was. The story of Belle Delphine felt like it was yet to come to an end. Videos investigating her disappearance during her hiatus, viral hit by Jabroni, would gain upwards of 8 million views in the space of less than a month, showing that people were still well and truly invested in the Belle Delphine saga. Unsurprisingly, after her 8 month extended break had come to an end, Belle Delphine's return was legendary. Her video simply titled I'm Back gained 20 million views within only only a week, and it was almost as if she had never left in the first place. However, upon her return, Belle Delphine began to make some of the many mistakes which would ultimately result in the death uh -oh, of she's cancelled. Between the months of October 2020 and December 2020, approximately four months after returning from her hiatus, she began to appear on podcast after podcast revealing everything there was to know about Belle Delphine. Welcome Belle Delphine to the show! Yay! Welcome. Prior to this, Belle Delphine had been excellent at keeping her life ambiguous and mysterious only ever revealing bite-sized pieces of information regarding her actions, which ensured that the audience was always paying attention as if they were to stop following for even a second, they might miss some vital update on what she was doing. I heard you, uh, I heard you don't really do podcasts or in interviews. Yeah, well, I've been trying to go through them recently because I, I didn't, I was cold turkey. I didn't do any anything yeah. until recently. Belle Delphine saw massive short-term exposure for these podcast appearances. However, in mm. the process, she would almost completely eradicate all of the mystery, which had been guaranteeing a constant level of intrigue. Oh my God, chat. We need mystery. That's what we missing. We need mystery. Chat, I'm mysterious. Just know I'm mysterious. Watch this. Mmm, you interested? Belle Delphine revealed that most of her publicity stunts were fake. Is it true or, or is it fake? <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it was fake. <laughs> so, she talked about her upbringing and reasoning for being this character in the first place. See, I come from a very conservative family, really? like super religious. And most notably, Belle oh, fuck, she has an accent? revealed that she had a boyfriend for the entirety of her social media journey. Who's the... Partner. Who's the guy? It's my boyfriend. How long has that relationship been going on for? Oh shit. The whole time I've been Belle Delphine. How, how no. long? Damn. So you know the Sims are mad as shit right now. They're like, what? I'm lying to. Oh, they're mad, bro. Uh, how, how long is that? 
three years. But while Belle Delphine decided to give up the mystery surrounding her character, you just realized, you just realized what? She's British, yeah. Invested in the story of Belle Delphine. I didn't know that. The fact that she hadn't posted any nudity or adult content, which her army of sims was still waiting to see. However, by late 2020, it seemed as though this was also about to change. On the 27th of November 2020, Belle Delphine would make a Twitter post stating, I can't believe I'm ending 2020 with a bang, indicating that she was going to post an adult video toward the end of the year. On the Cold Ones podcast in October 2020, Belle Delphine perfectly explained why posting genuine adult content would be so successful for her. I'm right on the cusp, right? I've never shown real nudity. And then going from that to like full on, I think someone wants to see it. But in a state of infinite wisdom, Max Mofo seemed far more lucid of the long-term dangers. You can't undo it though, because it's like the, the machine that you've, the machine you've built now is obviously extremely successful. Will you shut the fuck up? I want to see some titties, bitch. And it's like, once you cross that boundary, Yo, duck, you happy don't six months. sell it for two less than what you're worth. Like, you don't want to get scammed. Now, this was certainly correct. Belle Delphine had built this perfect structure that basically guaranteed a consistently returning audience. However, this isn't to say that Belle's opinion wasn't also correct. She knew that she was going to make some serious money off the stunt. In the lead up to releasing her first adult scene on the Impulsive podcast, Belle Delphine discussed how much money she was making on her OnlyFans. The main people on OnlyFans are roughly earning the same I think from what I know and at the moment it's like a mill a month damn However, as the old saying goes, there's no such thing as free money. And the price paid by Belle Delphine for such an insane level of income was that she had to simultaneously sabotage one of the only things keeping her simp army paying attention, the fact that she hadn't done adult content. The adult videos would go live on her OnlyFans and all seemed well initially. However, two months later, in February 2021, approximately nine months ago, Belle would completely disappear from the internet once again. Now, it's possible that Belle simply got the bag and left the internet with her newly found fortune however unless Belle Delphine is secretly she was making a million per month dude that is such an outrageous amount of money chat holy shit terrestrial human beings don't really work this way once we find something that works i wish i had titties i'm not gonna lie to you chat abandon it until it's no longer working what's more likely is that she's trying to deliberately build mystery around her disappearance which is exactly what happened perfectly with her previous break she's well aware of the benefits in disappearing without saying anything when asked about her previous eight month hiatus she thought taking a long break was going to end her career but she was surprised to find everyone waiting for her when she got back my one year break for example i uh, it didn't you know it was stressful at first because I thought my career was wrecked but aside from that I actually had a really good year. Without a doubt Belle Delphine thinks that this will be the case when she returns from her current break. Her previous hiatus lured her into a false sense of security telling her that she can take time off and her audience will always be waiting for her when she returns. Mm. However this time around things will be much different. Uh -oh. As mentioned earlier in the video during her first hiatus there was still so much mystery so many unanswered questions surrounding the Belle Delphine story and therefore her return was anticipated. Was the arrest story fake? How did this character come about? Did she have a boyfriend? How does this persona affect her personal life? People actually wanted to know more. 8 million people objectively wanted an exact update on what she was up to. However, this time around, all of the questions that kept the story interesting have been answered. She went on numerous podcasts over a two month period, explained her strategy around everything, then posted her highly anticipated adult content. And as a result, the story feels concluded. There's nothing else to look forward to. That has atrocious. No to care about what she's up to. Videos invested Investigating what happened to Belle Delphine on her current hiatus have gained less than 10% of the views compared to those posing a similar question. And she's not even breaking a mill. Break. She revealed everything in exchange for a surge in short-term revenue. However, the long-term consequences are already starting to reveal themselves. Who cares? Bitch made a mill a month. Do you genuinely think she... Who cares? A mill a month? Reality is hit little Zan. How long was she on top for, chat? What the fuck? Man... I'm gonna find me an NSFW artist chat. And I'm telling you, my dick is gonna be everywhere. 